can I sit here? Mark lifted up his face and looked at you who was smiling at him. He swallowed his food because he knew that whenever you act weird, you probably do something evil. Aren't you going to sit with your girl again? Thank you Mark, you're so caring. He said without waiting for his reply, making him look at you amused. He smiled at him. Why are you looking at me like that? Am I that beautiful? He said flipping your hair back while he scoffed. What are you planning to do this time? You looked at him innocently. What do you mean? Can't I eat with my one and only best friend? You said my only best friend a little louder making sure the person who you are trying to make jealous will listen but he doesn't even paying attention. You tightly gripped the spoon while Mark was noticing you. He followed your eyes that were on school's popular boy jeans. He's your crush and your head over heels on him. He sighed and looked at you. Leave it. He's not even going to look at you. You flinched and quickly shifted your attention to him. Who said I was I want his attention? Let's see. Ah, uh, do you want my cutlet? Mark looked at you surprised. Are you serious, Munchkin? He smiled and put the cutlet on his plate. Yes, you can eat it. Mark and you are best friends from childhood and he always get involved in all the stuff or crazy things you do whether he wants or not. Since childhood you act as his boss and he also cares about you a lot. He knows all your secrets and you are only comfortable with him. You are trying to get James's attention from last year and he's so handsome and you like him a lot. You were trying to make him jealous so that he can give you attention but there was someone else who was getting jealous instead. He hates when you go near any other boy even if it's your best friend Mark. His grip on the pack of milk tightened to see you clinging to Mark making it explode. Yeah, Jungkook, what are you doing? Everyone looked at them. Sam wiped the milk from his face while Junko got up. Sorry. He picked this plate and left from there making everyone wonder what happened to him. What happened to him? You shook your head and started eating your food. You looked towards James and your cheeks turned pink when you found him already looking at you. You choked. Yeah, are you okay? He said giving you the glass of water while you drink it. You okay? You nodded. You picked the tissue and wiped your mouth. Your cheeks were red while James chuckled slightly. Why do you act weird often times? He smiled and looked at him. You will never understand. He shook his head already giving up on you. Mark's jaw dropped when he saw you entering inside the cafe. He smiled when your eyes fell on him and walked towards him. He quickly came near you. What are you doing here? You smiled brightly. I'm here to do a part-time job with you. His jaw dropped. What? You better be joking. He stopped when he noticed customer giving him weird looks. He grabbed your hand and walked you in a corner. Can you please explain what's going on? You looked at him proudly. What do you mean by what's going on? I just want to work part time. I also want to make money to buy my favorite dress. He had palm himself. Have you ever made coffee? I will learn. You can teach me you're my friend. He glared at you. James comes in this cafe after his basketball practice. That's why you want to work here, right? You got nervous, Naito? 
It's not because of him. I told you I want money. Do you have any problem? He sighed. All the places are full. You can take a waiter's job if you want. What? A waiter? That's why I'm telling you not to work. No, I'll do this job and even if I have to work as a waitress. Mark was shocked to see your dedication. He looked at him. Can I start working from now? Now, I have to talk to the manager first. Wait, I'll talk to him when he comes and then you can give an interview. He smiled and hugged him. Thank you, you're the best. His face was clearly showing how worried he was because he knew you are not going to work here long. Plus, he was worried for the customers because only he knew about your short temper. He broke the hug and looked at him. But what would I say in an interview? Just say that I will do this job with full dedication and I love serving food to customer because, um, because it makes me happy to see the meeting. He said smiling awkwardly while you gave him a weird look. Are you sure I should be saying this? Do you want this job or not? You sighed and nodded. Oh, look who's here. You and Mark both turned to look at him. Your blood boiled seeing him smirk. You? What are you doing here? Mark closed his eyes because this was the reason he doesn't want you to work here. I'm a regular here but what are you doing here? I came here for a part time job. I don't have time to talk to a cheap guy like you. He chuckled looking down while Mark was getting panicked. So now you want to do a part time job? I can do whatever I want. Do you have any problem? He shook his head while laughing. Who's going to give you a job? You clenched your fist while Mark tried to stop you. Why you listen? You jerked his hand and looked at Jungkook angrily. I can get whatever job that I want, okay? Don't think me like you. Oh really? And how can you prove that? I'm going to give interview and in just few seconds I'll get the job and then I'll show you. You jerk. Mark, where's your manager? Let's go. Mark closed his eyes and again opened before looking at Jungkook. Why and he's the manager. He looked at him shocked while Jungkook was smirking. What? But how can he be the manager, Mark? He studies in my class. Jungkook came near you. My uncle owns this cafe. He said smiling teasingly while you went. Oh no, it means I'm not going to get this job. Actually you can. You looked him surprised. Really? I mean you'll give me the job? He smirked and came closer to you. Only if you prove that what's special in you that I can hire you for this job. He looked at Mark and then at him. Uh, I will do this job with full dedication and I love serving food to customer because it makes me happy. He laughed making your blood boil. A waitress's work suits you well. You try to control your anger. Then can I get this job? He cleared his throat and looked at you making you a little nervous. Everything is okay but your face. You checked your face with your hands. What's wrong with my face? Well, everything is wrong with your face. Especially your pale face which makes you look like a ghost. What? How dare you? 
Mind your language if you want this job. You clenched your jaws. Fine, calm down. Jungkook noticed Mark patting your back and he disliked it. He is going to work with them if you really need this job. He said pointing towards a different group of workers who work in that area. But why? He looked at you. Because I am saying, you glared at him. It's okay, Vayan. He sighed while Jungkook was giving Mark death glare. He glared at Jungkook and walked to the other side. Thank you. He was taken aback when he saw Jungkook giving him death glare before walking away. He scratched his head feeling confused. What's wrong with him? Ouch! You were about to fall back but someone caught you from back at the right time and your heart stopped beating for a second when you saw who he is. He got lost in his eyes and his perfect symmetrical face. Are you okay? You came back to your senses when he spoke. Your cheeks turned pink as he slowly held you in standing before picking up your book and giving it back to you. He bowed slightly because he is your senior. Thank you. You felt butterflies in your stomach when he flashed his beautiful smile. I am happy to help you. You looked down shyly. You two walked inside the school building together and your happiness was on cloud 9 to be finally able to talk to your crush. Mark! You ran to him when you noticed him and straight jumped in his arms. Whoa, whoa, what happened? You broke the hug and looked at him. I'm so happy. I can't tell you how I'm feeling right now. Oh my god, did I just dream? What happened? Tell me. I think my idea worked. He was still confused but when Jungkook saw you holding Mark's hand, he couldn't help himself. He doesn't know what to do in this matter because he can't even tell you to stop clinging to him or else he'll raise so many questions. Jungkook is also studying with you and Mark from childhood but the difference is you both are enemies. When you both cross ways, you only fight or argue about anything even if it's something nonsense. The whole class is well aware of your Tom and Jerry relationship. But no one knows that he has feelings for you, not even you. He annoys you because he finds you cute when you get angry. He purposely starts the fight and then enjoy annoying you since the childhood. He always hates Mark because you are so close to him. Which idea? What are you saying? You were about to open your mouth but again your cheeks turned pink when you saw James walking out of his class. You tightly hold Mark's hand. Girls were drooling over him. Mark looked at you. Is this about James? He nodded without taking your eyes off of James. He was coming in your direction making you nervous. Your heart was beating so fast. You interlocked your arms with Mark. I think he's coming to me. Jungkook noticed your class president badge in James' hand. He's also aware of the fact that you like James and now he can't unsee it. He walked towards you and stood in front of you making you frown. Why the hell did you block the way? Stay aside. He didn't move as you closed your eyes in frustration. Are you deaf? I said.
Your eyes widen when he grabbed your hand and pulled you closer before placing his lips against yours. All the students who were in the corridors gasped. Their eyes were also wide open. Jim stopped in his place when he saw the scene in front of him. Jungkook unbotheredly kissed you where you were standing like a statue as your mind got blank. All you felt was his lips against yours. He broke the kiss and wiped his lips with his thumb before walking inside the class and you were standing there still processing what just happened. Why am I? Students started their whispers but then all went back to their classes when the teacher showed up. Jerk! How dare he! You finally came back to your senses. He looked at James who lowered his eyes and walked inside his class. Why? Let's go in class. He was also so shocked. You clenched your hands and went inside the classroom. Mark knew something is going to happen now. He followed you. Why? You guys need special invitation to sit in the she paused when she noticed you straight walk towards Jungkook's seat. Students were surprised but they got shocked when you grabbed Jungkook's collar and walked him outside the class without caring the teacher is already in the class. She scoffed. What the heck is going on? Can somebody explain? Even we don't know. He whispered and sat on his seat. You pushed him against the locker and looked at him with anger. He was just smiling that made your blood boil more. Who the hell do you think you are, huh? He fixed his collar and looked at you still smiling. Play with me and I will do the same again. You were stunned that he was not even ashamed of doing that. I always knew that you are shameless. Your breath hissed when he suddenly came closer to you. If you know everything then how come you don't know that I hate when you cling to other guys and it makes me jealous? You took a step back as he was dangerously close to you. You felt your heart beating like crazy. First time you felt yourself getting nervous in front of him. W what? Don't try to act innocent and stop making me jealous. Why the hell do you get jealous when we have nothing to do with each other? Because I like you. He followed and he also stopped. Wh what? I never knew you are such a dumb girl. But now I'm telling you this clearly that I like you. And if you try to act like this just to make you your so called crush jealous, he came closer to your face.